Sigmund, the editor for All Access Music News. Today we're here with a very special interview. It's going to be a special section on a magazine that covers female artists. And the first group to do so will be the Grievous Angels. And we are lucky enough to have them here with us today with the magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to introduce yourselves? Hi, we're the Grievous Angels. <laughs> I'm Libby Coke. I'm Lainey Belasia. And I'm Debbie Forrest. So tell me, what was the genesis? How did you guys get together? How did you find out about each other? Can you take that one? Yeah, um, well Libby and I grew up together. Uh, we went to church together and been singing together for about 10 years. And um, then uh, Debbie, Debbie's brother is married to my boyfriend's sister and they all grew up together. And so that's how we were lucky enough to get Debbie. Um, and when the Bastrop wildfires happened, Libby had this great idea to put on a fundraiser at the firehouse. And so we had a bunch of artists come in to play, and I was going to sing with Libby's band, which I'd been doing for about a year and a half, and uh, Debbie was going to play bass with us. And Debbie was like, you know, while we have the three of us on stage and we're all singer-songwriters, we should cover this Pistol Andy song that's on the radio. And so we were like, that sounds like a great idea. and we. I uh, decided to rehearse it, and we got a bottle of wine, and we started singing some songs, and <laughs> turned out it sounded pretty good together. <laughs> and uh, so we we played the benefit, and a lot of people were like, "When are y'all playing again?" And we we're like, "We're not a band." <laughs> Three hits work together like that. It's really quite amazing when it comes to songwriting. Yeah. You know, yeah. it just takes a while. You guys just yeah, we're really it. blessed that our songwriting style is just totally. It's, it's easy. easy. Yeah. Like some, a lot of times it's hard. Like a lot of times writing a song is like just beating your head against the wall. But and we have such different styles mm -hmm. that you would think, you know, Libby's, you know, more of a folk country style. I'm more of like a classic modern country style. And Debbie had never even listened to country music <laughs> when she started playing with that. And she's a little more, you know, alt rock style. And so you'd listen to our solo stuff and think there's no way those three are going to work together. And they just do. On this new album, do you have your own influences, your own flavors on? Or, or do you come together as your sound as Grievous Angels? I think as a band we've really kind of developed this defined sound and I think um, you know, there are definitely certain songs where you can, I think people who know us will be able to say, oh, I bet, I bet Debbie did that one, or I bet, you know, Lainey wrote that one. Um, we're really excited about the record. I think it sounds like us, which is cool. But uh, you got a new album coming out. You just finished recording it. Mm -hmm. And um, where are you? When do you, when do you expect to uh, have this feed out? Probably early summer is when we're going to release the, the album. We've got a couple. Well, you know, fun shows. Fun shows when you really love and you enjoy what you're doing and it flows. So, um, and you guys do. I see you on stage <laughs> and uh, here too. You guys enjoy what you're doing. Um, so, um, that's first the song that you sang for All Access Music News. That's, um, that's one of your songs that you are very proud of. And, and you think you're going to let that loose as the, the single? Yeah, we think that's going to be our, our first single, uh, Sleeping Dogs. Uh, it's, it's very up-tempo and fun, and it's got a lot of wordplay. It's, you know, it's smart country, which is a little more what we lean towards, is trying to put the intelligent <laughs> country music. And then that was one of the other questions I wanted to ask. Who was your influence? Like, Debbie, we'll start with you. Who influenced you in your music? Gosh, I've had so many influences, but, um, you know, from the rock thing, I have always really loved the old rock bands like Heart, the female rock bands, um, but I also really love the folk country that's still around today, like Buddy Miller and Julie Miller and Emilio Harris, they're, I love their style and just what they do, and so I would say that's probably... What about you? Um, I think that there's a recording of me in the second grade singing Reba McIntyre's When Whoever's in New England's Through With You, which was not an age-appropriate <laughs> choice. It was even an idea. Um, and Tanya Tucker was sort of always my big badass role model who, you know, didn't, didn't need a man and drank tequila and 
<laughs> probably, you know, sounded like she smoked too many cigarettes, and I just loved it. And, you know, wrote her own songs. I did her own no, thing. I, uh, but my, I grew up, my mom was a big Motown child, and my dad listened to really, like, cowboy music, like Hank Williams and that sort of thing. So I kind of had both of those elements coming into my influences growing up. But um, really, I think my biggest influence now is probably Patty Griffin out of Austin. Um, she's amazing. And uh, I, I just, I think she's a great storyteller, and her melodies are beautiful, and I, I love her, the way she blends uh, folk and country and gospel and all these great sounds. Um, and then another big one, which Debbie mentioned earlier, is Emmy Lou Harris. Who I just love, uh, Greg Parsons, who is really the namesake of our, our band. And really, also, um, you know, when we were first starting to get together, we looked at the original trio, which was Dolly Parton, Linda Ronstadt, and Emmylou Harris. Yeah. They came together to do a couple of records. And yeah. So that's kind of, in fact, Lady made us these great binders with. Each one of us had uh, like a picture of one of the three of them on the on the <laughs> on the binder. Yeah. Well. I saw that one. I did too. You better at it. So, um, so what are your plans? What do you, what do you, where do you guys want to go with this? What do you want to do next? I think you know our goal is just to put the record out and then play for as many folks as we can and see what happens. I think everybody's really going to like this music and you know hopefully good things come from that. We're we're ready to work hard. You guys have a great sound. Thanks. You have a great attitude and uh, and great writing ability. Thank you. And you guys are, should go very far. And we're thrilled to get you now before before they go. We don't know who they are. <laughs> Put them on hold. So, well, thanks so much for having us. It's our you. pleasure. Okay, that concludes our interview. Thank you for stopping by again, and we'll see you soon.